in my previous video I had this watch it was fairly dirty I took it apart cleaned it up but there was still just some areas of brown I couldn't get rid of and some of the paint apparently this has a white coating came off I don't like that so I went and bought a new case for this this is the GA 700 with the 522 unit inside so I went on Aliexpress and looked at a few some were just plain black and kind of boring I wanted something kind of to stand out because I like the you know the flashy washes so this is my um, GA 100 it's red so I thought to complement that instead of doing white since it seems to turn colors and just doesn't last very long I got this nice green one hopefully it won't turn brown on me but we'll see so this is what I got it came in cool little package even came with a little certificate I'll put a link to where I bought it and the one I bought from because uh, I don't know they look they put a lot of care into their stuff or it looks like they do I don't know it's, little, it's very charming so they get the uh, strap and they have a few different colors they even have a rainbow one but I'm just not that bold <laughs> there's the uh, casing and they also come with I thought this was cool because I've never had one of these um, the spring bar uh, kit it has the what do you call that the little u-hook thing where you can use it to open it up and they come with a flathead and Phillips head screwdriver so I like that so I've not tried this yet well I have taken this apart but I haven't tried to install this, so we'll see how it goes. Phillips on the side, and I believe this one, all six side screws are the same size. And um, on this one, they're actually different. But this one, they're all the same. So, try my little bar puller. Yeah, on one side it has the little pusher, so you can push the rods out, which I thought was kind of neat. On the other side it has the U. So this should help. Alright, it pulls right out. Oh, and by the way, this this case cost about I think it was eighteen bucks. Um, took uh, around around a week or two to ship. It really didn't take all that long compared to some things I get from China. Some things take forever. If I give up here, I'll just use a flathead like I've always done. <laughs> Yep, these are not all they're cracked up to be. Good old Phillips or flathead screwdriver. Yeah, better option there. <laughs> okay, so there's our main unit. And if you ever forget which side's up, which side's down on these guys, at a uh, Swatch store, when you go to Swatch, they have all their watches hanging. I always remember that the uh, little hook here goes up at the top. So that's how you hang your watch. So if you ever forget, this part goes up top. And of course, these cheap little screwdrivers do not fit. <laughs> like it all. Okay, well, that's a bust. Go 
Let's see what I got in my toolbox. There we go. Whoops. And of course, I uh, leave all my good tools at home, but this should work. Yeah, that grabs real good. This is actually from a phone kit. Don't lose these. I'm going to reuse my original springs. I'm not going to use these bars. Looks like these bars are a little bit different size. They seem to be thinner. Yeah, I don't like that. And they may be made out of cheaper materials, so they might rust. So, so while I have my originals, I'm going to use them. Now, if you have a case that's been ripped up, well, it's good to know that they give you those little spring bars you can replace. Now when I took this apart, well, when I took this one apart initially to clean up, I kind of thought these little buttons would all be, how do you say, part of this white housing and then they just push into the case or the unit but they are really built into the mid unit or the, the 522 I think it is on here and they're, they're built into this one too six screws out and you're pretty much there at this point you'll have to peel but it's all flexible as I change all the settings of this watch I'm gonna have to <laughs> set the time after a little while I haven't worn it in a while so well like a few weeks so I need to redo the time on it anyway it should still be pretty clean after I used it last time yeah, I think I'm going to spritz a little bit of, nah, that looks pretty clean. I'm going to get my oils off of it though with alcohol. And it's just 90% stuff, it cleans it, well, this generic bottle. <laughs> Inside, trust me, it's 90% rubbing alcohol. And it can get most of the uh, oils and stuff off of there. Now my last video I cleaned this one up and I didn't show one part. There's a O-ring gasket in here and I just kind of cleaned it off but I later went back and I put um, sprayed a little bit of silicone lubricant on there so it should be again uh, water resistant for 20 bars like it came out of the factory so that should work. Ooh that's gonna look cool don't you think? So. Uh, these you have to kind of position in the up position if they see isn't that weird they're off centered but no big deal once they're up and I think they kind of go up and then slightly up either way that will help it but do clean this unit if you're taking yours off and you've worn it for a while these things get really dirty inside here so you can use my last video or you know it's pretty straightforward just clean that off a bit get you a nice looking watch because it's going to show through 
on these gel cases. Oh, and underneath there's these little pads. So yeah, don't rip that out. I was surprised to see that and then I realized, oh, I shouldn't take that out. <laughs> we'll spin that up in there. Yeah, this watch is getting nice and angry. Oh yeah, isn't that cool? I think that's neat. So yeah, everything should work. Beep, 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 yep. <laughs> I like that a lot better than white, don't you? That'll stand out. And since it's white, um, the inner parts are white here, so that makes this match. I think some of them might be red. You know, it just depends on what color you get. If you have a different color, just buy a different color um, gel casing. Yeah. Um, this bottom part is a little bit different. This one's straight edge. And I don't know if this is just an old model. Because my newer watch looks like this. And this looks like this. So they look about the same. So this looks like the GA100. Or G100? Yeah. Like the GA100 here. This does. So I think that's cool. So, as I said before, remember, this part goes on top. So, make sure you get that, or you're going to have a really weird feeling watch. These go in pretty easy, I think. Well, yeah. I'm going to use my flathead. This little pusher thing, whatever. <laughs> yeah. I like to push this out. I found that it seemed to go better last time. When I push it out and get this really close to being in, now this one might be a little bit more of a struggle. I don't know, I haven't done it before, so we're gonna find out together. If I do it wrong, just learn from my mistakes. Yeah, that looks nice. I'm kind of slip that on there. There we go. I'm going to start to push this so that it... Oh, silly me. <laughs> yep. You know what I forgot to do. You know what? For consistently, consistency, let's let's do it right. <laughs> Forgot my screws, right? I know you were telling me, but I didn't listen. Let's just put these back in. Like I said, these are all the same size screw. The uh the GA100, they're a little bit different. Like I think the, uh, yeah, the top and the bottom are a bit bigger than the middle. Look at that, they're a little, how do you say, angled. So yeah, they go in at a slight angle. Not interesting. It's always a little scary when you put a screw in and it starts screwing in at an angle. It usually means it's a uh, cross threading. Well, this works nice. <laughs> Everything lines up. They they went through a lot of trouble to make this case match up. I like that. Okay. Now let's go. Yeah, top. Yeah. 
I'd hate to go through all this trouble and realize, oh, it was upside down the whole time. <laughs> so I'll get that to kind of push down in there. And now, see I line that one up. And this seems to make things flow a little bit easier. Push that down in there. You know what? I think this tool might make it easier to move it around, so I'm going to use that to really get that in there. Yeah, nice, nice. So, the way it's hooked, that little V right there, you can kind of push it left and right, so that helps. Cool. Let's put our top part. It's my original springs. Oh, it's a little tight, so those thinner springs might be a better idea. Nah. I'd rather it be thick. Feels like it's, I'd just rather use those originals. There you go. You see my top, top. And I don't think it being too thick is gonna hurt anything because they really don't move because of how thick that band is. That will be a problem if I can't shove it in there, right? So it looks like I'm gonna have to push this plastic in just a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. I'll stick that. So that it clicks. Nope. It is aftermarket, so it's not going to be perfect. I have to push around a little bit to get that in there, but I don't. Since it's flexible, I think we'll be okay. I think this one really wants to go. You know what? We're going to try it from a different angle. I'll pull that out of there. So that's the tough angle. We'll just make it to go first. There you go. So we're just about in there.
There we go. Laying it on the table gave me enough leverage to push it in, so let's see. You know, it doesn't curl as much, but I'm sure wearing it a few times will give that a bit more of a bend. Yeah, I like it. About Twenty bucks, eighteen bucks. A couple of weeks to get here, and I think it looks quite good. It's different for sure. So there you go. That's the GA seven hundred case replacement from Ally Express. I hope you enjoyed it.